Hey everyone, it's Dr. Shirley with Level Up Healthcare. The FDA has put out some warnings on some disinfectants and some hand sanitizers because of toxic exposure and illnesses. My cousin, who is a dentist, who is all up in people's faces, is at extra risk of contracting COVID. He's been using hypochlorous acid in order to disinfect surfaces and in order to keep himself safe. And I have been doing some reading on this substance. It is approved by the US EPA as a substance that kills COVID. This is something that's non-toxic to surface contact. It is non-corrosive. It is effective at killing viruses and microbes. The way hypochlorous acid works is by disrupting the outer membrane of viruses and then deactivating it from the inside. It is made by running electricity through water and salt. Afterwards, you can use vinegar to adjust the pH. This is amazing. This is something that our body makes. Our immune system actually makes hypochlorous acid um, in a way that actually kills microbes inside our body. This is something that we want to use because it is non-toxic to touch. I want to emphasize that because we absorb things through our skin and we want to reduce our toxic exposure because that's important to, it's important to functional medicine that we do so. Um, people will ask what brand we've been using. And so I just wanted to get to that. Um, I'm not being paid by this company, but this is the one that my cousin dentist and I have been using. It's called Ecolox Tech. It's actually sold out on Amazon right now because everyone is learning about how great this is. This is something that you can make within eight minutes and then it is good for two weeks. The reason why it's only good for two weeks is because it's like a bottle of soda. Once you open it, the bubbles go up to the top of the surface and then it goes flat because it enters into the air. Um, this is something that you can spray on your hands, spray in your keys, you can spray on the counter and disinfect it. You can even wash your food in it. Um, Please remember that whatever chemicals we use ends up in the environment and it ends up in our food supply and it will come back to us. And so we all do need to keep our part in terms of keeping ourselves safe and healthy, but also taking care of the environment as well.